right, Gemini, this is your November How Do They Feel About You reading. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three of Swords in Reverse. Six of Swords Reverse. Four of Swords. Death in Reverse. And Three of Coins Reverse. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have Wheel of Fortune. So I definitely feel like you guys are focusing on your fortune right now. You guys are just taking matters into your own hand. This is all about changes and cycles. Um, but most of all, fate. So I feel like fate is giving you a gift. And I feel like you guys are taking your destiny into your own hands. And a lot of you are focusing on your coins. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like a lot of you are focusing on the practical things, on financial security right now. And on people that you love. Okay, so I feel like you are taking the will into your own hands. And I feel like you are just really um, trying to make the most of your life. Okay, trying to make sure that you live very comfortably is what I see here. And that's because where you're coming from, we have the five of coins. So some of you could have lost something. This could have been money, um, a person. But I feel like you are going through a period of time where you felt very insecure. You felt that you could improve a lot um, in certain areas. You were very needy. This is also feeling out in the cold. And I feel like because she is blind, like not knowing why, like what did I do to deserve this? You know, you know and I feel like um, just feeling like you don't have enough. And I feel like that's where you guys are coming from. But I feel like you're taking matters into your own hands. Why is five of coins here, please? Yeah, see, there was a lot of unknowns here, a lot of illusions, a lot of mystery. So I feel like um, you guys didn't know a lot. Like, I feel like you guys were treated bad and you didn't know why. Like, you were treated bad and you didn't know why. Nothing was told to you. There was mysteries. There were secrets. There was things kept hidden here. Why is the moon here, please? Why is the moon here? Where are they coming from? But little did you know this was a blessing in disguise. I feel like there was some sort of disaster avoided. Um, I also feel like you guys have known loss and you don't want to lose again or want to suffer more with the tower in reverse. So I feel like that's what made you empower yourself to rise to the occasion to, you know, take matters into your own hands. How you're being seen, we have three of swords in reverse. This is all about improving your life, um, forgiving, forgetting, and moving on. But I feel like you're recovering whatever it is that you lost. So if someone owed you money or someone took something, you're recovering. But you're also improving your life. You're getting over situations that cause you grief, that cause you sadness. And I feel like you're really just restoring control in your life and you're overcoming sadness, okay? Why is Three of Swords here in reverse? Yeah, some of you um, maybe released a third-party situation. That's not all of you. But do know that third-party situation is not always romantic in nature. It could be influence of external energy, such as family, friends. Okay. Um, with Three of Cups here, I do, ooh, I do see that there is an energy here of, you know, putting an end to an old cycle, improving your life, and going towards your happiness is what I'm getting here. I feel like a lot of you are just focusing more so on your happiness, on friendships, on people around you that matter the most, um, hanging out with neighbors or people in your community, getting out, um, you know, going to the local bar is what I see here. So I feel like you're really trying to improve your life. What's coming towards you is six of swords in reverse. And I feel like you always have someone coming towards you with emotional baggage. I feel like it always happens for your readings. And I feel like this is someone who, um, wants to discuss all the unresolved issues between the two of you. I feel like this person has not moved on from you. And I feel like there's a lot of resentment that they they want to discuss. Like they have a lot to say and I feel like this person's coming back. But I feel like you might give them a conversation with the world here. You might close it out. You might speak your piece and tell them it's over for sure and to not come back again. Um, I do feel like there's someone coming towards you who still has some resentment towards you. Um, I feel like this person does want harmony or peace with you, wants to complete something with you, wants to address the resentment. Okay, there's definitely resentment and I feel like this person wants to address it. Wants to close chapters, okay? wants to get to a, a stable ground with you, wants to get to 
you know, a calm place with you. Okay. Mutual energy between the two of you. We have four swords. So this is like a resting period. So I feel like both of you are resting, um, contemplating, you know, getting healing, seeing Reiki healers, massage therapy. I feel like you guys are just trying to restore your energy. And while you're doing this, you're resting and you're in deep contemplation over, you know, this other person. I feel like both of you are in that connection, in that energy connection. Why is four swords here, please? What is the mutual energy? You guys are just in self, um, you know, retrospection. And I feel like you're looking at yourself. You're reflecting on the situation that passed with one another. You're looking at yourself and how you can, you know, change. You know that there's a choice to make. And I feel like both of you are resting. But part of you is also considering a second chance. With the judgment here, this is like a second chance or wanting a second chance. But I feel like you're both, you know, healing and going through awakenings of your own and facing the music. Why is the judgment here, please? Yeah, I feel like both of you, you know, may have walked away from one another. And I feel like both of you are in pursuit of your ninth cup of happiness. But I feel like, it, you know, it's only natural to look back and think. But I feel like right now you guys are just on a break, um, pausing things. And really made a choice to walk away. Both of you did. I feel like both of you made a choice. Okay. But I feel like even though you guys have walked away, this person, how they feel about you is death in reverse. So this is Scorpio energy, but I feel like this person could still be wanting to resurrect with you, wanting to resurrect the situation with you. I feel like this person could still be holding on to you. Yeah, see, this person isn't over you. With the tempers in reverse, things are not balanced out yet. And there is a lot that they want to say. Why is the temperance here, please? Yeah, but they don't know if you want to give them commitment. They feel like you may not want to commit with them. And, you know, you're focusing more so on your personal career is what I see here. Advice from Spirit, we have three of coins in reverse. So I feel like around you, you know, there could be a lot of chaos or conflict and, you know, not seeing, not seeing eye to eye. So I feel like there's something that you need to change. Um, three of coins, please. There's a lot of conflict, like you're not seeing eye to eye, and that's why this break is necessary. But I also feel like Spirit's saying that you need to reevaluate your priorities, okay? Because I feel like around you with the sun in reverse, this is Leo energy. Like there's a lot of negativity and a lot of sadness surrounding this connection. And I feel like you guys are detached, but I feel like you need to reevaluate the situation. I feel like it's time to take action. And what I feel like it's time to remove any disorganization out of your life, any clutter out of your life. It's time to take action and to start the next chapter in your life. And I feel like it's all about balance. I feel like it's time to go after completion here. You know, it's time to close the chapter this chapter and begin your next chapter in life. And I feel like by holding on to a situation that's going nowhere or by staying in that energy field, um, it's kind of keeping you stuck and detached from your dreams. And I feel like you don't want to be stuck. You want to roam. And I feel like that's where you will feel the happiest. Okay. So I feel like spirit saying is to look at your priorities right now. Um, you know, how can you get, if you want to work with this person, how can you build something with them? How can you collaborate? What is it that you need to do? You know, you have to take action is what they're saying. All right, so let's go ahead and get um, some messages from the Whispers of Love for you guys. It says, be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay, so if this is someone that you want to be with still, um, you know, just make an effort or let them know that you are still interested. Um make an effort to collaborate, to set aside differences as well. Um, 
especially if you guys don't see eye to eye, you know, you may not always be just like your partner, but it's all about working together. It's all about compromise. And have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And see, this is someone who is, you know, it almost looks like the fool card. Like she's being, you know, she's not, she has no sturdy ground underneath her. And she's holding on to these butterflies as her balloons. And butterflies are all about transformation. And it's like she's just closing, you know, her eyes and she's being guided by the universe, but she's not afraid. And I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. Like, don't be afraid. Um, you know, things come in cycles. Things come and go. Transformation is beautiful. So just trust your heart. Do know that you are being guided by the universe to go in a different direction. And it's going to be different for all of you. But I do see that um, there's definitely going to be someone coming towards you because they want something They want something to say with you. There, There is resentment here. They want stability with you. They want to close out a chapter. But whether you want to go on a new journey with them or close this chapter for good forever, that's going to be completely up to you because all of you have different past in life. All of you had different circumstances. Not all of your stories are the same. And that's why it's very, really, really vague in a general. So just follow your heart and just enjoy this journey. Enjoy this journey of life. Okay. So Gemini's, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will catch you on your next video. Take care.